Hi again, this is Alex for Nuvius. Today I'm going to show you how you can scroll to a certain index in a list view in your NativeScript app. And I'll show you a trick to make that scroll animated in iOS, something you don't get out of the box. Here you can see we have a list view and it's bound to list items. Each list item template will show just a label with the text inside of it. If we take a look at the code, you can see we have the list items which is an array of my item. And if we take a look at my item, I'm going to hit F12 in Visual Studio Code and F12 again. Uh, you can see that this is just a model and it has a text property. So going back to the code here, list items is just an array of my item. When we construct this controller, we're going to fill the list items with a thousand items. And each item is going to say my item plus the index. I'm going to go ahead and run this real quick so you can see what it looks like. Here we have all the items listed in a list view, which is basically in iOS, just a UI table view. Um, pardon the resolution here. You can see this divisions. I had to scale it down a little bit for the video. Okay, so now I want to add a segmented bar right at the top here. When you click on a certain section of the bar, it's going to navigate or it's going to scroll the list to that position. So going back to the code in the XML, I'm going to add a segmented bar up here at the top. The items of the segmented bar are going to be dynamically generated by a positions array that we're going to define in the code. And also the selected index is going to be a property in the code as well that we're going to bind to. And row one is just going to be position one so we can jump to the top. I'm going to copy and paste this a bunch of times. Let's go to row 450 and 900. So these are the labels for each of the segmented bar items. And we also need the value. Now we're going to do the selected index. And it's going to have a backing field, a private backing field called selected index. And that's just a number. We're going to set it equal to one initially. Now I want selected index to have a getter and a setter so that when the value is set, I can trigger a scroll. So the getter is going to re just return the selected index. The setter is going to set the selected index to the new value. And then it needs to fetch the position from that new value from the positions array. And finally, we're going to call the scroll list function here and passing it the new position. We don't have that function. So let's go ahead and create it. And the list view API has uh, a scroll to index function on it. So we already have a reference to the list view because we fetched it here in the navigating to function, which is going to call list view dot scroll to index and pass it the position, save it and run the app. Great. Now, if I click on any of these segmented bar items at the top, you can see that my table navigates right to that row, but it's uh, just jumping right to the row. What if I wanted to gradually animate to that row? This is where the trick comes in right here. And I will show you how to do that right now. If we go back to our scroll list view function, we are going to scroll in an animated fashion when it's an iOS device. And when it's an Android device, we're going to just use the default scroll to index function. So we need to separate it by saying if this is a iOS device, then we're going to scroll animated. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and scroll the regular way. So the code to scroll to a position in an animated fashion is an iOS API. Luckily, NativeScript allows us to drill right into the iOS native APIs. Here's how you do this. Scroll to row at index path at scroll position animated. Wow, that's a mouthful. But we're not done yet. Just so we can fit on the screen here, I'm going to make this code a little bit uglier. The first parameter is going to be an index path. And we're going to use NS index path of the uh, iOS API to create that. And the second parameter is where in the screen to locate that particular cell of the table. The third parameter is whether we want this animated or not. And we're going to set this to true. We do want this animated. 
Now, as you can see, TypeScript is not happy because it doesn't know what NS index path is or what the UI table view scroll position is. You can still run this code, but if you really want to get rid of these uh, red squiggly lines and make it look good and so TypeScript doesn't complain, you can get the iOS API TypeScript definitions from the native script GitHub repository. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Okay, let's run this code now. Okay, there's our table. And if I click on these segmented bars at the top, you can see that our scrolling is animated. Hopefully it's coming through well enough in the video so you can see the animation. Thanks for watching. You can find the code for this in the blog post that's linked in the video description. If you're interested in more list view manipulation videos like this one, take a look at my other video on making the list view cells editable. Happy coding.